Alright guys, today we are doing a Tinkercad tutorial on how to export your projects into SVG format. When we are talking about SVG, we are dealing with laser cutting. Now, for those of you out there who have not yet subscribed to my channel, I do news, reviews and tutorials on digital fabrications. If you like this kind of content, please do subscribe to my channel. Alright, see you in a few seconds. Alright guys, so today we will learn on how to export an SVG file from Tinkercad project. So first of all, you go and log in into your Tinkercad account and generate a design that you want to create a 2D design from. Why are we generating an SVG file? Because that SVG file is where we can generate a G code for laser cut. And when we laser cut, it's always a 2D uh, format, a 2D file. So let's say I have this project that I want to laser cut. Uh, it will be a cross-sectional cut. So this project here, uh, I want to create an SVG file, which in turn, I would like to create a laser cut from. So this project, Anything that touches the default work plane, which is the blue work plane that you see in front of you, anything that touches it will generate a cross-sectional file called SVG. That's a 2D file as well. So from here, uh, you create, uh, you click on export and click on SVG. So it will create a save file, which is a SVG tutorial SVG based on the name that you have for your project. So what it does is that if you look from the top, right, it will generate a hollow box uh, design. All right. So now you have the SVG file. How are you going to use to laser cut? So you're going to open up Inkscape. I have a new file here. And I click on file and I click on open and I click on the SVG tutorial and it opens up another file. Okay. And as you can see here, it does gives you a uh, box, a rounded edge box, uh, which is inside another rounded edge box. So there's a hollow box inside and there's a box outside. Now, um, it's very fine, it's hard to see. So what can you do? Basically, uh, from here, if you are using a laser cutter, it's best to format the work area based on the laser cutter uh, cutting area, cutting uh, space. So under file, you go to document properties. Uh, my laser cutter, has a workspace of a A3 size format and I usually deal in MM uh, uh, units and it is in less landscape format alright so that's uh, how I set it under document properties so it will generate a uh, A3 size landscape and MM uh, type of work area so now it still looks the same, but if you zoom out, you realize, oh my God, it's going to be lost in the whole format. As you can see here, this is the workspace uh, for my laser cut and that file is almost invisible to the eye. It's that small. So I am going to hold control and scale it up as you can see. So I'm going to hit Ctrl A to grab the file and I'm going to right click, right click on the line and it says here fill and stroke. So I click on fill and stroke. I will go under stroke style with 0 0.046 is too fine. I'm going to put 0 0.25 and enter. There you go. You can see that there is this uh, 2D design that you can cut on your laser cutting workspace. All right. 
All right, guys. Uh, drop a like if you like my content. Dislike if you dislike. Drop a comment on anything regarding any of the areas that you think I have missed out. Let me know. And I hope to see you on the next one. Bye.